Cassie groaned and leaned over, as if she had a stomach ache, her forehead pressed to her knees. Don't you think it is time to end this orgy of grief? The woman said, glancing at her watch. Samuel knew the price he would pay if he were caught. He thought it was worth it. If you loved him, you might honour his choice. Her lips twisted into an ugly shape as she said the word love, but Cassie, head on her lap, did not hear it. Must people always pay the worst price for doing what's right in your world, mother? She whispered. The old woman glanced out the window at the sky for a long minute, her expression remote, as if she was thinking about something completely different. Finally, she returned her gaze to her daughter. I did not say he was doing the right thing for Sandra, only that he thought he was. People always think they are doing what is right. Look at your father and his sentinel project. He and the government think they have the right, they think it is the right thing to give the fate of the world into the hands of machines. He thinks it is responsible and mature thing to relinquish control of the weapons we have created. Maybe we will all pay for him doing what he thinks is right. There was a queer expression on her face and a queerness had got into her voice. Cassie lifted her head and gave her mother a long, bitter look. If you think father is wrong, why don't you tell him so? Why don't you tell the whole world? You have the power to do that. It wouldn't even cost you your life. Wouldn't it, Cassie? Her mother asked. You think the government would allow me to criticize its pet project? You are such a child. What are you talking about? Cassie demanded. I'm talking about the real world, Cassie, where we all live, not the world of heroic and foolish boys and girls. I chose to leave your father because he became a man I did not like, a man who believed in things I could not believe in. He let the world and his fears turn him into a puppet. I can't stop what he does any more than I can stop what the government does. The best I can do is stay away from him and his world and keep you away from it. I don't want to hear any more about you going back to that place. I don't want you there again, not ever. But mother, he's invited me and I need, I mean, I want to go. It'll be the last time. Cassie's mother gave her a cold, hard, intelligent look. Why would you want to go there again when you resisted going there so violently in the first place, despite my having no choice but to send you? I, I just, I was doing some painting there. I hated it there, it's true, but I want to finish what I began there. The mother regarded her and then smiled. You are lying, but I will make you a bargain. You tell me why you suddenly want to switch to the university at New Rome, and I will allow you to visit your father this one last time. But I want the truth, and I will know if you lie. Cassie's face changed, and a peculiar expression filled the wide, almond-shaped eyes. Do you really want to know, Mother? Because if you do, I'll show you. Her mother frowned. Cassandra, I've had just about enough of this childish... Cassie cut her off. Remember that big, splashy series of advertisements sent out by the Riker Clinic a while back, Mother? The ones asking for anyone who thought they might have paranormal abilities to come and be tested? Well, I went. Oh, that was a hoax. It was a scandal over falsified research results. Surely you were not foolish enough. Yes, there was a scam, but it was the man who ran the place that was running it, William Reitler. He supposedly wrote a book, only it wasn't he who wrote it, or came up with the testing methods the clinic used. It was another scientist who died. Reitler stole his work and put his name to it. He was after money and he got it by conning rich people into making donations, by convincing them that everyone had paranormal abilities that could be wakened with the right techniques, just as the book said. Then he was exposed and there was a scandal, but not everyone he hired was crooked. A lot of the researchers that worked for the Rattler Clinic really believed in what they were doing. So when William Rattler died, they kept the clinic running. The clinic was destroyed, Cassie's mother said. Reitler burned it to cover his tracks, only he was killed before he could get away. William Reitler was killed, and the building that housed the clinic at Inver was destroyed. But the Reitler Clinic is an organization, not a place. It relocated to New Rome. It's still operating. <laughs>